guys, it's Principal here, back again with another video. And today I was I'm gonna answer a question that a lot of people ask themselves a lot, especially well, obviously when they're growing up or you know when it's time for to get a new car. So I'm here to tell you the best first car you need to buy is not a sports car, okay, not like a Lamborghini because you can't even afford that. You're like what 16, 20. Um, it's not a big brawn SUV, okay? That's just not practical, bro. Seriously, don't get it. The best first car, in truth, is a minivan. Now, some people know what a minivan is, and you might ask, what the heck? Why should I get a minivan, dude? It's just a soccer mom's car, you know? That's what everybody says, man. But, um... The minivan really is the best of, like, everything, bro. Um, <laughs> so, uh, everybody in my family owns a minivan, including us, and we, you got some options um, for the segment, you know, and they're pretty dang good. So, you got some from Honda, Toyota, Kia, Chrysler, you know, and they're all awesome. So... In case you didn't know what a minivan is, it's basically kind of like a station wagon. <laughs> Just a little raised up and um, with three rows of seating, like a, you know, SUV. Um, so nowadays, all of them come with V6s. And um, they're pretty good power and they could fit a lot of stuff, man. I mean, like if you have a third row up, Okay, and you fill the car up, you could fit eight people, and then you could fit a lot of groceries or whatever you need to bring, you know, everything, you know. And then, like, you could also fold the rear seats, and um, you could fit way more stuff. It's just so practical. And um, in some car, in some minivans, um, especially, uh, namely the Chrysler Pacifica, it's a brand new one, that car you could not only stow away the third row seat but you could also stow away the second row seat and that is just really cool if you're gonna like um go to best buy and get like a big fridge or you know you're gonna buy something you know like something huge like a piano that is just great okay that's very useful and you cannot do that i'm sorry you cannot do that in a sports car sedan suv you know you could do it with a truck but Man, this, those are big, huge stuff, and they're like sucking gas like crazy, man. So, really, ultimately, the minivan is the best. And if I were to give my personal preference, it will be either the Honda Odyssey or the Chrysler Pacifica. Because, I mean, Honda Odyssey has been... um. No, the most competitive in the segment, like a lot of people love that car, all the car reviewers, they love it. And the Chrysler Pacifica just came out and it has brand new technologies. And the Chrysler Pacifica is the first minivan to have hybrid, to, to have a hybrid form. And that is just amazing, you know, to have a hybrid. So you will basically in the Chrysler Pacifica hybrid, you could just um drive in full electric mode for like 30 miles without recharging. And that's pretty good for everybody's daily commute, you know? That's just awesome. And like in general, um, Minivan's MPGs are not too bad. I mean, they don't get 30s, but they get like uh, 22s, 28s sometimes, you know? So that's pretty good. Um, yeah. So, and then so, and the Honda Odyssey, the cool thing about that is um, it also comes with a cool box, which is basically like a fridge. But it's not a fridge. It's basically there's a little box under the center console, right? And then the air conditioning that goes around the car, you know, there's a um there's a passageway in the in that box which will um bring the air conditioning into that box so you could keep some some of your stuff cool. Not like a fridge, but you know, it's pretty cool. It's like crazy good. And then also with the Honda Odyssey and some other cars I think. There's a, in the um in the second row you could pull out uh, there's a this thing where you could pull out and then you could put like a bag in there for trash because trust me 
if there's a lot of people in a minivan or a car and we're going on long road trips, especially with kids or just friends, teenagers, whatever, there's going to be a lot of trash, man. Snacks, candy, soda, whatever. Just put it in there. You know, and it's very useful. Um, and the other thing is, um, they're not too expensive, too. I mean, they start at around maybe a bit above $25,000, so a bit more like $27,000, $28,000. And they go all the way up to maybe out of the door $50,000, maybe. And now, you might think that's like crazy expensive for like a minivan, but oh, dude, you have to see those, okay? You have to see those uh, $50,000 minivans. You got luxury, memory seats, push button start, navigation, radio, anything, everything you need, dude. Everything. Trust me, okay? And um, they just look pretty good, too. I mean, compared to the base models, they look awesome. They got LED headlights, um, they got pretty cool rims, uh, head, uh, fog lights everything so it's pretty souped up <laughs> once you get to 50,000 but like even the mid-range ones they're pretty good that's all you need you know and with the Honda Odyssey and the Chrysler Pacifica um they're the they're probably the only two cars in the world well except maybe a one million dollar uh, Mercedes Sprinter on my uh Ludacris or something or like Vin Diesel that has a vacuum cleaner okay so you could have you have a freaking vacuum cleaner in your car okay a vacuum in your car you could like scoop up everything any trash any scraps make it look clean it's easy and the Chrysler Pacifica it has a extended um uh, vacuum so you know if, if you want to do you could take it out of the car and then like vacuum your other car <laughs> which is a uh, pretty you know insane so yeah and then the like I said, only like if you want all of those crazy awesome stuff, only fifty thousand dollars, you know. And then like for fifty thousand dollars, you could either have like a souped up minivan, or <laughs> of the base of the line Audi. You know, it's like minivans up here, Audi. <laughs> so you know, for the money. Minivan is the best. Minivan is my choice, and minivan should be yours too. This is Prince Boy, guys. Uh, please take my preference because trust me, it's it's the right car. Okay, you guys go to the dealership. You know, you have to compare the minivan to its SUV equivalent. You'll find out pretty soon that the minivan is the best car for you and everyone in the world.